So we are starting something new today. I haven't explicitly said it, I don't believe, but I have a big obsession with craft gear. And I heard of this game because I got a random notification with it once they announced the release date. And that release date was today. Uh, well, today while I record this, whatever, it was September 29th for when, whenever you guys watch this. And this is just a beer simulating game. And it looks, I did a, that, I did the tutorial, that's why it says continue, but we're gonna start fresh. It looks incredible. It looks like some of the physics can be, are a little wonky, but like the actual mechanics of brewing beer seems pretty good. Cause I have done some like home brewing. I've done a couple batches. And so I know somewhat of the process, but this game seems perfect to get better at it and learn the process more. See, try different variations without having to spend a shit ton of money. So we are going to do that. We're going to do the brewmaster mode uh, because I th believe that's kind of like the story mode. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Welcome brewer. You're about to take your first steps into the world of home brewing, a world packed with creativity, discovery, and most of all, excellent beers. Brewing is an art with endless possibilities where true mastery can take a lifetime. Yet at its heart, it's wonderfully simple. Anyone can pick up a brew pot, throw a few ingredients together, create a tasty, thirst-quenching beer to share with friends and family. So that's exactly what you should do first. Let's get brewing. Also, thought it was only fitting, especially since the game just came out. Always gotta have your beer. Probably gonna be a little bit till we can brew a beer like this, because this is an Imperial Pumpkin Stout from Southern Tier out of New York. So, I, I believe the tutorial last time I ended up with um, an IPA, and that's what I assume we are gonna start with again. So let's go ahead and grab the pot. A lot of double clicking and a lot of menus here. We will learn. You guys will learn that very quickly. I gotta remember it. I just did the tutorial about an hour ago. So I can kind of go a little bit quicker through this. All right, 21 liters. Actually, hold on. We are gonna go ahead. That's, there it is, switch measurements. Imperial. I know, I know it's wrong. But that's what I'm used to. I live in America after all, or the United States. So that's what I am gonna go with. So, oh, that's annoying though. All right, we'll switch it later because, okay, so 6.1, I'm gonna do quick conversion here. Um, if I go ahead and do this, we are going to do a quick conversion. I'll just look it up on my phone real quick because I'm hoping it's only that way on the goals since I was set to that when the goal started. So let's do this. So 21 gallons or 21 liters, sorry, is 5.54 gallons. Let's go and do that. And what's nice about this is because I thought this was going to be really slow when I started is that this is a thing and you can increase time a ridiculous amount. I already forget what I was supposed to do. I think 5.54. Yeah, 5.54. Then, what happens if I do this? Okay, so when I press T, it does reset to 1. That is good to know. 5.54. Okay. Went a little bit over, but that is fine. Let's go ahead and put it on the heater, then. Um... Oh, okay. So it's telling me to do this while, while we go over here. So let's do, we did the amber malt last time we did this tutorial. So we will do this one. So four pounds. We'll do a light malt versus the amber malt. Okay. And this is where the graphics can get a little wonky for the physics. Because I keep worrying that I'm going to spill outside 
of this because it kind of goes through, but I don't believe it's possible. Okay. There we go. Well, that was more than expected. Also, that's Amber Malt. What? So already a little bit of a glitch right here. If you look, it says on the container Amber Mulch, but it says Light Malt Extract in the description. All right, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, so that's still heating up. Grab some steeping grains. I think I did the Vienna last time, so let's do the Ultra Pale Crystal. Actually, no, let's do Vienna. I think I did the Ultra Pale. So one pound of this, which is... Okay, that's fine. I'm pretty sure one pound is 16 ounces. So you get the same thing twice, but that's fine. Um, yeah, we're going to place that. And now we just wait for it to boil, I guess. So this is where we go up a ridiculous amount of speed here. So 212. And there we go. You can hear it to start to boil. At least I can. I think I have the audio setting right, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Okay. And now we need the hops. Yeah, pretty much what that says, the bitter ink can go in um, first, and then the f for the bitterness of it. And then the flavor comes from the British hops in this case, uh, which get added at the end. So let's do the Magnus. So we need 0.7 ounces of this. There we go. And then two ounces of a British hop. We will go with Polar Down. You can really do whatever. And that's kind of the fun is with this game. Is that you can pretty much experience whatever you want and try different things with it. Um, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Hopefully that didn't just ruin it. Nope, remove that. I am all over the place already. So, yes, this is the one we want to place. There we go. Alright, so 50 minutes. So at 12.55, we will come back. Yeah, this watch... This would be, like, unbearable if this watch didn't exist. This is insane. And then, British Hop. Cool. I still don't know how to place an item. Oh, I guess I can put it there. There we go. So, 10 minutes. So, 105. Make this go a little quicker. What it will show here shortly is that while the time makes it go faster for minutes, in the brewing process, you got to wait days. And so that's what this calendar over here is for. Um, okay, so remove all bags, turn off. So remove, and then turn off. Okay. Yeah, so this is where it's saying, let it cool for a day. So we will go ahead and do that. So now that this is cool, we can start the fermentation process. So go and grab the fermenter. Just gonna place it right over there. Um, we gotta make sure we take the lid off. Because you, I don't wanna even try to see what happens. I'm just gonna place all this stuff here. Is there a trash can somewhere? I assume there is. Oh, over here. Okay. Either way, time to pour. The fun thing is you can't really spill this, so I can, like, run around with this. And it doesn't even slosh around at all. 
but let's go ahead and start the pour. Just dump all this in here. I don't, like I said, I don't think it's possible to spill it. So you can just kind of, when you go completely pour, you just go all out. There is something later where you have to like stop at an exact amount. Actually, it's right now. Oh, never mind. No, the yeast stays there. Um. Yep. So yeast is pretty much what makes the alcohol. Pretty much it takes the sugar and turns it to alcohol and CO two. I believe is what that was saying. Um. Sure, we'll do this. I believe I did the mild ale last time. So we will do the SoCal ale. Yeah, so we are... We'll pour the entire pack of yeast in. Stop that. Okay. Oh, close the lid. And the reason why it's this funny contraption up top is this pretty much um, allows CO2 while it's fermenting to escape without, or I think it's CO2. It pretty much allows like gas to escape without anything getting inside to contaminate it. This one's a lot fancier than the one I have personally because I only have like one gallon set while this does five gallons i believe um yeah 15 days the one thing about this game right now is these scales are very slippy like they slide but they can it seems like they can easily go past okay time for some corn sugar so this is what I was talking about earlier. Ooh, look at that. Now that, I forget what the top name of this is, but I like that top covering. Um, But this is kind of what I meant. Because there's 1.1 pounds of this and we only want to put in five ounces. Or is it in quarts? Okay. I was worried because at first it showed quarts instead of ounces. Went a little over, but that's fine. Okay. Might. Oh, yeah. I don't even need to cover it anymore. Because we are moving, moving it to a barrel. So pretty much this is where we're putting it to carbonate. Um, While the other one had the tube, I forget the technical term for it that allows gas to escape this does not so this is where the you actually get the carbonation of the beer and you kind of do a siphon method to transfer it it's a lot easier in this game because it is a pain in real life sometimes so take the lid off and we will connect the tube and then there we go so now we can the tube is connected right this is why i'm also meant why it's kind of wonky because it goes like into the table but then appears in, out of the ground but now if we turn this tap oh wait hold on what? Hold on. Okay. For whatever reason, it glitched there, and it wasn't, like, connecting fully. There we go. Now it shows the connection properly. So now I can open up this tab, and this will start to full fill. So we can ramp up the time. And we are good. Just like that. Then detach put the lid back on pick this up we'll just hang it there and now for the long wait 
This is why whenever you brew beer, it takes like at least four weeks before it's ready. Okay. I'm glad the music finally started as well. I was wondering if it was just gonna be nothing this entire time. But ultimately, here's the fun part. Time to see what we brewed. Okay, so it looks a little amberish. What do we got? Yeah, so just over a five gallon batch. Slightly hazy. Dead center carbonation almost. It is going to be more on the multi side, just barely though. Ooh. Okay, so this could potentially be. Ooh, it's a multi. I'm interested to see what this is. This this going to be a pale ale? Potentially? This is another reason why I'm excited for this game because I am going to learn what, like, look at this chart and be able to tell what kind of style of beer it is because I cannot do that right now. I just know kind of based off of, like, hoppy and slash bitter and malty and then I get crisp and clean. I always think of, like, lagers. So let's see what we got. But the hoppiness makes me lean more like a pale ale, which I could be completely wrong. That, I honestly don't know if that's good or not. 7.3 seems pretty high. So pretty much, what would that be? One out of every like 12 sips. You taste an off flavor at least. That's not how contamination works at all. I just doing math. But let's see. It is a light ABV. The, oh, British Strong Ale. Okay. That's better than last time. I think my highest was an American IPA at like 64%. It was all over the place. So let's finish off the first beer. So it is a British strong ale. <clears throat> so let's try to think. We'll just do... It is... ha. Uh, we'll just do could have been leaders. Since it is a British strong ale, probably should have ended up in liters. Yeah, we only have the Belgian bottle currently. This is where the fun is. So, tulip, I don't believe a tulip would be good for this one. I honestly probably, honestly, might go with a stein or a beer mug. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's either that or just the... Nonic pint. Yeah, we'll just go with the pint glass. That seems fitting for this. And let's see. Wow, holy, hold on. There is a lot of stuff you can do here. Oh my god. Like, this is all just insanity. Okay, so there's like some pre made ones. That one seems pretty good. That's pretty much just the Baratheons at that point. So you can wait hold on so let's do that oh okay so this oh my god you can really go all out on this like there is so many settings on this like let's go over here and value let's not do like a puke green that is like straight like a few green that seems decent did that change anything it did not it's not changing any of that either this is interesting I'm trying to figure out okay so, oh so that's where the color comes in okay okay so let's go back let's actually oh i lost all that that's fine Let's just go with the tree. That's fine. This, oh my god, there is so much. You can get absolutely insane with this. Let's do scale. What happens if I do that? Oh, you can make it. Oh my god, there is so much. 
customization in the label itself. For this first one, I think this is just a classic, good looking one. I think we will just stick with that. I'm trying to see what all illustration that's the one I was just in. There's not too many options, surprisingly. I have a feeling this is going to get modded a hell of a lot. Okay. Whoops. No, wait. There we go. All right. Let's just go with that. And my panel just fell. Give me just a second. Well, that was very weird. And also it made me realize there is no sound except for like me hovering over these. So that is another thing that could be added. Okay. So I guess I just have this. I guess I can hold this. Hold on. Is there a place I can like show this off? Do I just like put it there? Oh wait, taste. Display bottle. Oh, over here maybe? Or up here? It's saying I can display. Oh, right there. Okay. I guess that works. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue the journey. Because the sooner we get through the journey, the sooner we can... Hold on, let's see if this is dirty. Okay, so there is stuff in it. So let's go ahead and clean this. Cool. That was super easy to clean. That is never that easy to clean. Ooh. Oh, that's right. There's actually a bunch of customization here. Because you can customize like this entire area. So let's go ahead and go to the next season, seasons, shall we? Okay. So we are into day one of summer. Is there like a season thing like this? Like, um, oh my God, there's a magazine too. Is there like a season thing like Stardew? Okay. Let's see what the quests are going to be. Greetings, Brewer. Do you know what the best thing about brewing beer is? People want to drink it. Few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. I've sent you a copy of The Brewer's Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty for home brewers, recipes, articles, catalog, and last but not least, jobs, which bring me back to your popularity. Brewer's service are always in demand, and jobs are a great way to earn an income whilst increasing your brewery mastery. Brewing mastery. Why not give it a go? All right, let's get a job. Ooh, American Stout is the beer history. Ooh, dark matter sounds perfect for me. At the start, start of each season, you'll find new jobs, recipes, and articles in the Brewers Quarterly. These will be automatically added to your journal and brewpedia, which will subsequently grow as you progress through the game. Oh, okay. So this seems... Wait, small. I'm guessing this is five gallons. This would be insane if it gets large. Anyways. Okay. Let's go through the tutorial first, then we'll see what all this is. Uh, there will be two new jobs every season, each offering rewards such as beer tokens, mastery, sometimes special items. You're free to, to complete one, both or neither. It's up to you. Although for this part of the tutorial, you'll need to complete at least one. Each job comes with its own set of requirements that need to be met by your beer in order to complete the job. They also have an optional bonus requirement that grants extra rewards if met. Okay, we are definitely going to do the American Stout. Now that you have a job in mind, let's pick a recipe. Okay, 
So what are these? These are mastery. Next home. Okay, so this is pretty much the level up system. Beer tokens can be used to purchase items in the catalog. You can earn beer tokens from jobs, competitions, reaching a new mastery level, and increasing your reputation with local breweries. Commercial slots, once unlocked, can provide an additional income each season. Ah, so that's pretty much how we're going to survive. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Yeah, no, let's, let's find a recipe then. There'll usually be two new recipes in each issue of the Brewers Quarterly, which are automatically added to your collection of recipes in your journal. Each recipe shows the required equipment and ingredients, the steps involved, and the estimated final stats of the beer. When doing a job, you'll, you'll usually want to pin a recipe that matches the job's requirement. For example, if the job requires a certain ingredient, you should find a recipe that contains it. Pinned recipes will appear in the HUD so you can easily follow the steps whilst brewing. Um, it's not even giving me the option of doing the other one, so it's like, yeah, you're doing this one. Pinned recipes like track jobs can be changed at any time. You can do this in the recipes section in the Brewer's Quarterly or in your journal. Each issue is, oh god, each issue of the Brewer's Quarterly also includes beer related articles, which are automatically added to the Brewpedia. Great for expanding your brewing knowledge. When you're ready to select the catalog, this is where you can buy the ingredients needed for your pinned recipe. Okay, so got the equipment, all that's good. Ooh, black patent. Cluster, Ruggle Green, so called ale, that's the one we used in the last one. Dark malt extract, so we, this is a malt extract beer. Um, and then corn sugar. Okay, which I believe we have. Okay. This should be good. So this is going to come out about 6.4 ABV. Nice black color. And it's just going to be American stout. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to the catalog. This catalog is where you can buy brewing equipment and ingredients, as well as cosmetics to decorate your workshop. More items will unlock as you progress through the game, so it's worth visiting every season. The pinned recipes tab is a useful way of viewing all the items required for your currently pinned recipe. Okay, so the pinned recipes, there we go. Here you can see all the equipment and ingredients required for your currently pinned recipe, including those you already own. That is so nice. Oh my god, the fact that they track that and I don't need to go back and forth between the fridge, the like um, cabinets and all that. That is so nice. Including those you already own. Any that you don't own can be bought immediately or added to your shopping cart. When you purchased all the required ingredients for recipe, return to the workshop. It's time to get brewing. Okay, so we got all the equipment. We do need the grains, so we can add that. So this costs 15. We'll add that. I think I just purchased that immediately. Uh, this is five. So we'll add to the cart. Ruggle green, two ounces is another 15. So that's 20 total. Oh, okay, just keep checking my cart up there. Yeast we already got. And corn sugar we already got. So we need just need the dark malt extract, which is 10. So let's go ahead and buy all. Okay. And cool. Um, excuse me. Store, please. Do I need to do... Wait, cancel that. Okay, so I can't... Okay. I have to store all. I can't store individually at this point, apparently. I like how I'm just carrying around this tube. This tube is now part of me. And it is never going to leave my side. I probably should clean it, though. Can I not even clean it? I should really clean this tube. I just use it for a completely different style beer. I guess not completely. It was a British strong ale. And this is a stout, which I believe is this type of ale. Anyways, this tube is now my tube. 
and it's always going to be my one slot. All right, let's start by getting 5.5. I got to clean this, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Clean it twice just to be sure. Put it on the floor. I hate when I do that. Hold on. Put it on the floor. Still looks dirty. Let's clean it again. Exact same. Take that up. Clean it. Oh wait. Clean it one more time just to be safe and then we're good. Um Yeah, 5.15. After all that. I mean, I guess that's one way to fill it up. I guess. All right. Tube, I have to put you away, unfortunately. So 5.15. Whoops, that's way too much. Hold on. Yeah, 5.55. 5. So I need to get out 0.19. That's as good as I'm going to get it. I am perfectly happy with that. Okay. I need to pick all this up and throw it in the trash. Because that is all used. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Add malt extract. The extract should be in here, I believe. How much do I need to add? 6.6 .6 pounds. Okay, so I guess we're going to get seven of it. And then... Yeah, we need 6.6 .6 pounds. Oh, I actually have 6.6 .6 pounds. Perfect, actually. So I can just pour it all in. Yeah. Don't overflow, please. Oh, this is getting really close to overflowing, but I think we're okay. Maybe. There we go. That was a very slow pour at the end there. Hello, tube, my old friend. Um. Go to the next one. Steepable grain. Um, I believe the grain is it over here. Yeah, so we need the how many of it? Black patent 1.8 pounds. One point eight pounds. So that's two. That should be one point eight. Confirm. That's one point four. Damn it. Um, this is weird how this works. Hold on. So I need two, four, seven, nine. It's two, three, four, five. Maybe. How many is this? One point seven. Ah, that's painful. Okay. We're just going to go with it. 1.7, that's close enough. We'll see what happens if it's not enough. Uh, yeah, we'll place that in there. And then... We will do... Heat this up. I probably should have been heating it up this entire time, actually, now that I think about it. While I'm doing that... Oops, that's not how you do that. Let's go to, uh, yeah, so this is my journal. Let's go to recipes. To complete activities such as jobs, you'll gain, increase your mastery. Yep, 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 okay. Recipes. Um, stout. So, boil, remove steeple grains, add a hops to boil for 50 minutes, cluster, so, 
Buster for 50. Ruggle Green for 1.76. Yeah, and then we need to cool it. Okay. So this is where I put the tube away. So I need Ruggle Green and what was the other one? Cluster. And how much do I need? So we need, hold on, let me get rid of that, there we go. So we need 1.7 and 1.76. So cluster, we need 0.7. Confirm. And this one, we need 1.76, which I don't think we can get exact, especially with that. So I think we actually need to do this. How much is this? That's 1.94. So we actually need, so go to two and then hit it twice more. Nope, okay, let's try this again. This the downside is that this doesn't show the exact amount. There it is, okay. Now we just wait for this to get up to 212. To 12. Here we come. I'm gonna start slowing down. There's the boil. Heat this up to 212. I can hear the boiling. So I think we are, yeah, it's not going to go up too much more. So I think we are good. So we will put in, remove the steepable green, grain, and then add hops, the cluster, which should be two, I believe. Yeah. And now we wait 50 minutes. So we wait till... 1 or 13.10. Oh my god, yeah, if this didn't exist, this game would suck. Because this is already kind of a slow process to begin with. Okay. And then we are going to add... This, this is what, yeah, rubber greens. Okay, so we will add this in for another 10 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, we just need to wait till 1320. Okay. And remove both of these and turn this off. Now we just. Wait for it to cool. Which I guess we could probably wait till tomorrow. Might as well. Advance. Probably should put a day on, but whatever. Okay. So fermentation time. Oh yeah, we can toss all these in the trash. Because they are used. Hello tube. Put that there. And just pour it all into. Okay. I'm very confident that you're not able to spill it over. Because I just tried as hard as I could there. Um, put this over here. Um, and then we need... SoCal Ale. Yeast. So I guess I have infinite... Oh no, I have infinite of all of them. Which is nice. So pretty much once you buy an ingredient once, it looks like you have it permanently. Which makes it really nice. Okay. Toss that. I also do enjoy just the guitar going on in the background. Um, okay. Put the lid on that. 
and then we wait 15 days. Okay. I wonder how many days there are in summer. I wonder if there's actually a calendar I can look at. Okay. Corn sugar. So first let's grab conditioning container. Which is here. And then I have my trusty tube already, so we're good on that front. So we'll do that there. And then we need sugar. Which we need how much? 7.05 ounces. 7.05. That goes so quick. It is so difficult to get the right amount of sugar on this. Trying to get as precise as... Way over. Way over. Well. It's probably going to be extra carbonated then. Yeah. Cool. And start this up. Perfect. Get rid of the tube. Back to my trusty hands. Can I clean it finally? Still can't. So that goes away. Put that in. And I just, yeah, conditioned for 21 days. And let's go ahead and taste this bad boy. Hopefully I get American Stout, because that would be kind of embarrassing if I didn't. But let's find out. Because American Stout is one of my favorite styles of beer. So if I can... Ooh, that looks good. It looks like it pours like oil. Straight dark color. A little bit higher on carbonation. Where's the multi? More towards multi. Love to see that. Zero tart, yep. Oh. Really? I guess the spiciness, probably. Those look amazing. Those look perfect. 6.89, I think that's slightly lower than what they had. Slightly higher um, contamination. Um, okay. Very heavy. I'll have to look in. I want to get contamination as low as possible. Because that is the biggest thing in home brewing that can kill beer. Is contamination. Oh, perfect. 84%. Um, I'm going to be sure to select the style here. Okay. Once you're done packaging your beer, you can submit it to a job or return to the workshop. If you choose the latter, the finished conditioning container will be placed in the keg rack or cellar for later use. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't think that happened on the first one. Um, you, th you would think I would have come up with the name by now. I'm trying to think of the darkest American like city honestly the times i love this the most is when i am snowboarding so i am going to just we'll just go with dark vermont it's not very creative i will get better at those because i would realize to um do it we gotta do a st stout class because come on and let's have some fun here. Oh. Well, that's just perfect. I literally don't think you can get a better label than that. What's this one? That's a decent. I'm going to save that one for like an even darker one. Because that could easily be space themed. And that seems incredible. So we will... 
That's not going to do anything. Okay. I don't think... Confirm that. Let's go to the text banner. Can I choose the color of that? I can. Uh, I think that was the one it had previously. Yeah, I think this is the perfect one. Confirm that. Um, let's go with, is this the one I'm thinking of? Like a dark blue here might be good. So something like along the lines of like that seems good. We'll confirm that. We will, uh, is this the color then? What is this? Okay, we're going to back out of that one. Oh, there's some fun textures here. That's kind of cool. We'll do that. Sure, why not? No, let's just back out of it. Let's just leave it the way it is for now. And I lost it. We're going to go back and redo that then. Label maker. Um, text banner 1. Oh, this is probably the X tier. We could get like a nice dark green. Actually, I kind of like this better. So let's do the blue here. Can I get like a nice, almost light blue? That's not bad. Match the sky a little bit. And then we will confirm that. And I think this will probably, what's this? Okay, that's nothing. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how do I change the text color? I don't think it's any of these, right? Yeah, I don't believe it's any of these. Yeah, so this was the one to go start with anyway, so I did like that one the best. So I guess we're just going to stick with this. Let's see how we do because we're going to ship this off to the job to submit a beer to a job it must match the requirements once a beer is submitted it will be lost but you'll get to keep a bottle of it for display there are several ways to submit beers to jobs on the jobs page in your journal by interacting with the finished conditioning container by opening the cellar where you can also view all your past brews so yeah we're going to submit that one these ingredients, SRM is at least 20. So we got the bonus as well. So that's two points. Love to see that. Did I level up? I don't believe I did though. Congratulations on completing your first job and finishing this tutorial. What next? That's up to you. You could try out the second job, experiment with other brews, or even decorate your workshop using build mode. When you're ready, head to the front door to advance the next season and the next stage in your story. Story. Good luck, Brewer. Cool. So we are... We'll definitely... Ooh, so this is... So that's the could have been leaders. I don't really like these containers. I prefer, like, the other kegs, but we will put... No, we need to be able to see that one. So we'll put this one at eye level. Make sure it's turned towards me. Nope. There we go. And there we go. Can I, like, inspect it? It doesn't look like it. But either way, that will be our first run. That's our first time in Brewmaster. We will continue, and next time I might do a little redecorating. I just wanted to get through the first two beers, do the tutorial, figure out how the game kind of works. And we will... Go continue down the path and learn to become better homebrewers together. So until next time, guys, I'll see you around.